Next question is from Maria the Moriarty. In your opinion, what are the top three sports that indirectly give the best aesthetics? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I think, uh, you know, interesting we stacked this in these questions because uh, I may not have thought about this uh, unless we had just talked about it. And mm -hmm. uh, gymnasts would probably be up there. Oh, gymnasts, gymnasts are up there. sprinters, I think. Only thing one. about gymnasts that their aesthetics, uh, or, or that rates their aesthetics a little lower is their legs. Uh, gymnast, male gymnasts typically don't have legs that match their upper body. It's disadvantageous to have those kind of legs when you're mm -hmm. on the rings and you're doing, you don't want big muscular legs matching their big muscular arms when they do that. Um, I think, but I do think overall their aesthetics are phenomenal. I would say, uh, boxers, mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, grapplers, uh, wrestlers. It depends what position to oh. football wise. Like, uh, I would say, you know, if, if, if you're looking at running backs or you're looking at, uh, you know, wide receivers or something like that, where it's a little more of a skill position that you'd probably like have like a better physique, uh, obviously than a lineman. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. I would disagree on the boxing one for sure. Uh, really? Yeah, I would. Just you think like Evander Holyfield. I and, mean, and some he, of those, I, those are anomalies, right? Those are guys that just looked amazing and stuff that or probably looked amazing before they even started boxing or had the genetic potential to look like that. Oh, because no, here's why I disagree with boxing because boxing is heavily uh, focused on uh, h high repetitions and low rest periods and they don't strength train nearly as much as most other athletes and they also are normally very forward everything is rounded forward oh yeah, yeah they're, yeah. they're going to mold to their sport that's right for sure. so the, the the aesthetics on a on a boxer it's more rare we get an evander holyfield you know or lennox lewis they so have these great physiques i think you normally see not the best physiques uh aesthetically well, pleasing? I, I think too you've seen that change dramatically in basketball too like because of the physicality has become like more on the forefront you've seen a lot more players like really you know build and develop muscles uh to combat that but now it's already shifting a little bit more uh you know in the other like the kevin durant where it's like you know you're longer lankier and i don't know it's, it's interesting to watch sports kind of evolve with that it's a fun debate physique, so. I, I have a different way to present this because I, I, something just came uh just came to me I, I, judging the sports for the best aesthetics by the top representatives might not be fair because no. you made a great point. Boxing's very high, lots of repetitions. Yet Evander Holyfield looked like an amateur bodybuilder. Is it because of the boxing or yeah. is it because Evander Holyfield probably had incredible for sure muscle building genetics or like ufc like what was it is it fedorov or, or not fedorov? Oh, Feder, uh, Feder, 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 yeah yeah, 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 yeah right. right you can use that same thing like with basketball david robinson like velasquez david right. robinson had one of the craziest looking physiques so what as a basketball player but it's not because of basketball he's so what sport not strength training sport because obviously we could cheat and say olympic lifting or powerlifting what sport right. would do you think if they just did that sport would pre would present for the average person the most the, the best chances at aesthetics, overall aesthetics. What would that? I think gymnastics probably has to be there. Yeah, right? gymnastics yeah. is one. I think we can all agree yeah. on that. I, I think that just, I mean, going right back to our first question, it lays the probably the best foundation to build upon anyway. So yeah. I feel like some people would say like soccer, but they're like tiny. No, dude. You know what I mean? No, no because that, dude, look at men's health and all that. They're always being like soccer guys are the best. Physics. Well, that's, again, those are the He's top like, athletes yeah, in the yeah, world yeah, yeah. at There's that There's only sport. like one or two David Beckhams. You know what I mean? Yeah, you yeah. take it. You take, I guarantee if you put David Beckham on a traditional resistance training routine, he'd build muscle like totally a, like a genetic freak yeah. yeah you know well here's the truth like when you talk about building muscle and aesthetics no sport yeah. is really ideal i mean it's not mm. that i think mm. we look at athletes too when we look at these about top golf these yeah, yeah these <laughs> john daly <laughs> yeah, yeah. i mean it, sports uh the the goal is not to build a bunch of muscle it's to become very efficient at whatever your sport it's is just to be and, good at the sport yeah and most sports are not uh, heavily focused around or it's not advantageous to have a bunch of muscle mass mm -hmm. on your body so yeah. it's really not a good place to even look at like hey what sport should i do if i want to have like the overall best aesthetics now, if you pick a yeah, sport there's no balanced physiques anymore yeah, yeah and if you pick a sport pick it because you like doing it and it's, it's healthy for you and you enjoy doing it i wouldn't pick a sport necessarily yeah. because i'm trying to change my aesthetics the most effective thing you could do to m to manipulate your aesthetics and sculpt your body is lift weights. Yep. There is no f no other form of exercise that lets you pick parts of your body to develop and change uh, for the pursuit of aesthetics like resistance training. Right, and the up. and the example that everybody is thinking in their head like uh, is is always anomalies. It's yeah. you can I can pick out a, right. a person in every sport, mm -hmm. every sport that has this, has this awesome <laughs> except for maybe that one uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. that has an awesome physique and it has less to do with the sport and more to do with their genetic yeah, potential yeah, yeah.